All right, good morning. Looks like still... <sighs> Thank you, Plarium. I'm going to get 30 more points toward her, which means I have to do... Oh, wait. I only have to do this shit one more time. 20 and 30. And I'll get my Lady Etrol number whatever it is. Ugh. There's supposed to be, like, a better actual five-star champ. But, uh... Until then, we have to go through that uh, gatekeeping lady. All right. But on to more important things. So the events, Art of Fact Enhancements coming up, as well as Champion Training, and the Dungeon Divers is on. Anything good in here? Let's see. Uh, Chaos Ore is pretty good, but that's for 6,000. Yeah, lots of... Uh, Lots of ranking up, but if it's not a legendary, it's not going to give you a ton of points. I mean, maybe get you an epic to six star. That'll uh, that'll get you a few points. Let's see here, 20 times 60s, 120. So you would have to be really ranking up the legendary. So difficult, uh, particularly uh, one to get for the dungeon divers. So we'll see how that goes. And then moving through, let's see how we're coming along on the Hydra. So the Hydra, hour and a half, we will uh, be in there to win that. A little rough on the clan right now. Uh, looks like we're 47% on that. Took me two keys just to whack out a, a smooth 16 million. Hopefully next time we'll be able to get into that hard and brutal. For the Demon Lord. This morning's gambling. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. There's whammy. Not bad. Alright. Hey, hey. Speed. Damn it. Uh, well. One can hope. Alright. That was a couple of items. Was able to knock out those Doom Key uh, Silver missions. Oh, that's going to suck. I'll get that here in a bit, though. So I've got to get some accessories and then make some Affinity Breaker set. That'll be fun. And then I am in Silver 4. So I just got to win a tournament on that. That won't suck. Speaking of, guys, everybody who will be participating in the Clan v. Clan, uh, get ready. Go ahead and start knocking out picking up your uh, the faction wars if you'll go into the bazaar there should be or not in the bazaar but the additional battle item your tinver let's see where that is i think it's in the shop gym shop yeah here we go so tag arena fill these things restores each purchase, update times, price resets. So you can get this for 15 gems. We'll go ahead and pick that up. And we'll see how long that lasts in the store. So got a three hour. This is the one I just picked up, so it lasts 24 hours. Ooh, nine minutes and jump all over the arena. Let's just go ahead and refresh it. Alright. Let's see what this debuff stripper is going to do to me. Alright. You can go. Yeah, the trick is not letting her hit you with that old debuff. Because she'll strip everything away. There we go. Oh, we got this. Take a nap. No. So, this course, 1v1 grouping. There we go. So, it should be pretty straightforward and easy. Don't bring her back. All right. Done. 
auto that bad boy out. Whew. At least get two of these in. Get some value. All right, there's one. Hedgemon will make this fun. Thanks for that guy. Okay, not terrible. Okay. Don't want to strip buffs just yet. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, spicy burger. Now you really know whether or not you're going to have a good time if Duchess takes the hit from whatever ability you have. So, oh, and she's frozen? Yeah, she's going to have a bad day. Solder that out, take it home. Should have about seven minutes left. Oh, got him. Well, he didn't just... She always goes for the shield in case Death Knight was going to get up and after it. Do, 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 do. Plenty of defense, but all things saving her is the ice for a second. I'll uh, see here. That's going to be a long fight. They're all going to be long fights. Maybe not this one. That one shouldn't be a long fight. The trick is killing him first. So his damage reduction. Come on. Ah. Alright. Take a nap, lady. Alright. There we go. I don't mind if he comes back this turn. I just didn't want him to have all that extra go-go juice. All right. Plenty of hit points on her end. Let's strip some of those out. Oh, nap time, lady. We're done here. Take him home. Country roads, give me five arena fights. Five minutes left. Thank you. Yeah, I'll lose that. All right. Now let's go into the tag. All right, guys. If you haven't set up your defense yet, go ahead. Get your team one, two, and three. Make it painful. Fun fact, I have seen somebody use a singleton defender, and I'm going to pull him up. This was absolutely ridiculous. It was a fun build I saw, and I'm thinking about actually doing it with a high resistance. So somebody booked out a Paragon, and for those of you who haven't seen the skills, heal reduction, fine. This one. Two turn timetable, unkillable for two turns on an ally. So someone threw on the damage reducing uh, artifact set, I want to say it was the stone one, where you're basically you get a turn, doesn't matter if you uh, get hit or not, that you don't take any damage. Put that on, let's actually do, do this so we can see. A, what this guy's equipped with. Yeah, I just got like a couple speed on him. Just because I was doing the last nightmare fight and needed this. So, his skill, damage control. Booked up. Makes him unkillable. So, some a hole thought that if you didn't have a debuff stripper, it's a really good idea in the arena for defense. Just him. Dropped on. 
Which set was it? Come on. All the way down. So I'm pretty sure it was stone skin. I don't think it was protection. Because one of those... Text buffs. This one... Yeah, it gives stone skin buff for a start at two rounds. And didn't take any damage. So went immediately into just damage control and they had their AI set so that damage control was going off every two turns. I did have a debuff stripper. It helped, but honestly it's pretty sneaky. A lot of high damage non-stripping teams. I mean, if you don't have your Madam Saris or somebody else, it could be something that just keeps you in the the winning bracket. So something to consider, guys. Again, uh, Clan Ronin, repping 89. Woo! So let's get it done. Guys, appreciate everything that uh, you all do to watch and make sure that my content sucks just a little less. I'm going to get after it this morning. Thank you all. And I am the God Who Weeps because I've got to get Lady Eritrol for a whole month. I think she's in here. Jesus, where is she? Now I'm going to whine about it until I find her. Where is she? Is she a Night Reverend? Like she, yeah, Lady Arash, sorry. Yeah. She's an attack champion. I get Veil once every four turns when she takes a beating. Um, four turns increases attack and crit damage on this champion only. Attacks all enemies, chance of getting an extra turn, or giving her 10% uh, turn for each living enemy. That's not terrible on somebody like spiders, but uh, I mean, that's on a four turn timetable and then places weakening. Just strong, mediocre, but I'll cry about it later. Guys, have a great morning. Thanks.